Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Saturday. <clears throat> Today is day two of the Northeast Council Convention, or the NEC. I'm in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. It is about 7.45 in the morning, 27 degrees. And I'm in my car, warming it up just a little bit. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and look for a battery for my microphone. Um, if you would like to see day one and have it, there will be a link like maybe here. Uh, just click on that, take a look at that video, subscribe to the channel, perhaps like and comment. Then go to my website, michaelsfishroom.com, check that out. And perhaps my Facebook group, Michael's Fish Room, and uh, like that. When you're done with all that, come back and watch this video. I know that's a lot, but I appreciate it. So a couple of, uh, couple of interesting notes from yesterday. It was my first convention. I've been to conventions before, maybe not necessarily fish conventions, but other, you know, shows like this. And f first and foremost, the organizers do a really good job. Uh, Nancy is, I believe, the chairperson for the vendor room, and she is super. She, you know, wants to know what the vendors want. She doesn't just make rules. As an example, um, we were open till 11 yesterday and she came around and said, you know, after about six o'clock, 6.30, do you want to close for dinner and do you want to stay open till 11 or maybe 10? What do you want to do? She took everyone's votes. We ended up staying open and staying open till 11, um, which was fine. I, I got a couple of good sales after I didn't think I was going to, so that was good. But <clears throat> the reason why she wants to know if you want to close for dinner is the conference is based around different speakers and keynote stuff. And when there's a keynote speaker, that's the only thing that you can do if you wanna do something for the convention. So dinner was from seven to nine. It was a plated dinner. It was pretty expensive. I Obviously I didn't go, I was in the vendor room, but I heard the food was good and there was plenty of it. So from seven to nine, you're with, you know, a hundred other people registered for the convention. So instead of being in the vendor room shopping, spending money, or at the bar drinking, or in the hospitality suite drinking, getting drunk and then coming back to the vendor room, they were eating dinner. So we all said, almost all of us said, yeah, let's close. This way we all can go get dinner, take a little bit of a break, come back down at nine when dinner's over and the rush comes back. We couldn't do that. There was uh, one table <clears throat> um, that took maybe 10 hours to get set up they were discus people and nice guys but took forever to get set up and as soon as they were done getting set up they left so it was a little weird but what are you gonna do um the other thing is i met some some pretty nice people met a couple fans which is always always interesting and sometimes a little creepy oh you're that guy from youtube no i'm just me um you know, I did meet Greg Jones, and I'm going to talk to Greg a little bit more today. Maybe we can do a quick little interview or something, but super nice guy. I mean, really nice. I used to watch his videos uh, all the time, and, and then he, he kind of stopped doing fish videos and, and was doing some do-it-yourself and um, some other stuff, and, and I just, you know, I just don't have time to watch every video, every person I like, so he's one of the guys I don't... Typically watch that much anymore, but when I first started, I watched him a lot. Um, super nice guy though, and tall. I didn't realize how tall he was from the video. Is that weird? I think it's weird. Anyway, um, also of course I hung out with Lisa and Martin from Super Cichlids. Uh, quickly becoming two of my favorite fish people. Lisa is oh my god, super nice, super nice. But um, we had some good stories. It was pretty fun. And so I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna go get some breakfast because I'm in the vendor room from nine to 11 today. And um, I brought cold cuts and a little cooler and an ice pack. And I'm like, all right, so, you know, I'll, I'll have cold cuts that I can eat during the day. Um, and then when I go back to my room, I'll put the cold cuts in the refrigerator and the ice pack in the freezer. And then I'll do the whole thing again on Saturday. Except this hotel sucks and there's no refrigerator in the room. I travel for work at least once a month. I've never seen a hotel without a refrigerator in the room. This one doesn't have it. 
Um, also, they wanted $3 for a bottle of water and they kind of gave me a dirty look when I was like, no thanks. It's crazy, right? All right, I'm just rambling because I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm gonna look for a battery for my mic because that would be nice if I could use that. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna try to film and maybe interview some folks uh, walking around in the vendor room, see if they want to go on camera and I'll just ask them some questions and they'll, you know, answer them. So hope that's interesting and uh, I'll be back soon. So stay tuned. All right, fishy folks. I'm here with Lisa and Scarlett and Lena from Super Cichlids. And they're going to talk real quick about the Super Cichlids company, Cutest Critters. What is it? You want to say what it is? It's a company that has some animals and they're adorable, so that's why... Well, show like, me, what animals? Over there. Over here, they're like sea animals. They're stuffed animals, people. They're cutest critters. Spinning around, they got sharks. Sea turtles. We got some squirrel animals down here. Wow, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? I can't really decide. It's all like super cute. Is that your favorite? Your favorite's the killer whale. What about the That's mermaids? Cute. These right here are our new ones. Yeah. Very two. nice. Very nice. I also like this. We got a few more new ones, like the babies. Like these ones, the oxes. These ones are new. And these <gasps> Look at how adorable. And they're finger puppets. These are finger puppets. Very nice. Very cute. All right. So let's talk to Lisa about super cichlids. Hi, Lisa. Yes, hi. How long have you had super cichlids? Since 2014. Oh. Oh, hello. What was that? <laughs> oh, 2014, um, obviously started out as a hobbyist and um, just built my fish room. I call it my lady cave and I have roughly 70 tanks and 3,500 gallons. And mostly guppies and small fish? <laughs> of course, live bears. <laughs> uh, mainly Rift Lake cichlids, Ooh. Lake Basenji and... Um, and I'm dabbling in South America. So, and then in order to support my hobby, I decided to start Super Cichlids, which I do sell fish to the public locally, um, but mainly it's dry goods. Like, and so you carry yes. Northfin? Yes, Northfin's my baby. I've been selling it roughly three years now. It's what I feed most of my fish. You see Scarlet's pointing it out. Krill Pro, it's, it's I like meta. I like the Krill Pro. They need to make a half mil. I'm gonna have Krill to talk. Pro. Yeah, it would Please be great for Darius. the juvenile juveniles and your little guppies. Yeah, and for my guppies. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah so, libraries. Yeah. So it looks like you have what else here? We have we, uh, we love Seachem products. That's what I, I use a lot of safe in my fish room. Uh, do you sell Omega One? I know Prashi is fantastic. The newest. One uh, of the newest. Wait, yeah, wait. So, so you say Rapashi. Rapashi. Is that the fancy name to say it, or is that actually how it's said? Because I always say Rapashi. Rap it's probably Rapashi. But I'm from Rapashi. South Jersey, so maybe oh, it's yeah. a South Jersey thing. You're Rapashi. a Delaware thing, Rapashi. 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 So I'm going to call it Rapashi now because it sounds more fancy. It does sound a little bit more French. Right. <laughs> it's fancy. It is fancy. It's more fancy. fancier. It is. And, and what is this? This is Piscine. Piscine is a Canadian brand. Um, it's mysis based and it's a fabulous pellet. It took them five years to develop. They use the wet mysis in their pellet. Um, it, the cook time is about 24 hours. They don't go above 100 degrees, so they don't kill any of the you know acid or vitamins, minerals. It's a fantastic pellet. So, so where is it from? <laughs> it's from Lake Okanagan. Oh, yeah. And, and where's that? It's West Canada. West so, Canada. Yeah, gotcha. so Canada. that's where the mice comes from. So. And then, uh, and it's it's very expensive. Why? Yes, a lot of it has to do with just that. You know, it's just a premium product. You know, they harvest the mice right away, flash freeze it, make it into a pellet. It's just it's one of the best pellets in the world, and you know, they bring it all the way over here to the state. It's and obviously lovely. you use it in your fish room. Yes, I do. I feed a lot of my wild fish. Um, they really devour it. The prime I mean, flakes in the bottle. Yes, they do. They have a new flake. Oh. Mm -hmm. And with orders, I've been sending the samples of the flake out to you when you place orders. You always have a gajillion samples. I love making samples. It's my thing. Look, and look, there's just samples here too. <laughs> there are samples everywhere. <laughs> you want a sample? I got samples behind the table too. Do you have any samples sample. of pizza? No. <laughs> and 
And so I noticed you carry Tropical. Yes, that's Let's a, go look a at brand that. from Poland. A Polish brand. Polish brand. They've been around 40 years. Me and my mom and my sister helped um, put all the um, Apico on it. Yeah, they, they put my two daughters, they put all the food on the shelf. Very nice. Really I helpful. think you did a great job. I did. Yes. The blue ones laid in the orange ones. They have this amazing soft line food. It's soft, um, easy for the fish to eat. Right. And Fantastic ingredients as well. And I, did I can't. I'm blind. I can't read it. A little pricey also, but yeah. you get what you pay for yeah, with absolutely. fish food, don't you? Absolutely. So yeah, um, I really do love the spirulina line. The soft Wait, line is my favorite, Mama, and the curl. What is your favorite fish? My favorite fish is the Alanacara basinji. This is or benga. Mine is the betta bits. Um, the betta? In like cichlids. Uh -huh. Because they're kind of different kinds of colors. I like and, that. Yeah. Yeah, and I looked up six, kind of cichlids and um, it's like a polka dotted one. And it had like. Like an OB. Yeah. We're going to have to go look at Michael's um, guppies over there. I don't think you saw them. They're yet. all different colors too. Yeah. And so we're offering something special. Yes. So if you like this video, yes. subscribe to this video, yes. and go to Super Cichlid's Facebook page, yes. we're going to have a contest. Do you know what we're offering for the what contest? Do you remember? $50. A $50 gift card to Super Cichlid's. Yes. And... And what else was it? A cutest critter. A cutest critter. You could be the proud owner of, a of this purple mermaid. And if you don't like purple... <laughs> You could go with green. <laughs> your choice. Yes. And you can pick anything. Yeah, you can pick any cutest critter along like, with your $50 gift card. You also get to choose a cutest critter. Like this critter. cute little one. That is a cute so one. Soft. Yeah. Soft. Let's soft. Let's come over here because I, I don't know that people know. If you have lots of fish. Oh, yeah. You can buy in bulk. Yes. And you have all this stuff in big bags too, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes. And you sell other fish room products like yeah, heaters, heaters, and heaters. breeder boxes. I I basically sell what I use and what I can vouch for. That's that's my motto. And this is model. why you're fantastic. Oh, thank you. I and use wait. Oh yeah, a green pleco. You can all. Oh, you can also choose a green pleco as well. Oh. Either cutest critter or, or a, a green, green pleco. pleco. Yes. I might have to buy this one. Yeah. Oh. You can't win that though. No, you yeah. can't win no. them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Lisa wants to take that home and put it back in her bedroom. <laughs> yeah. When yeah. she makes her bed, it's the centerpiece. It's, yeah, she told me. Center, yes. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you want to say bye? Bye, everyone. And, and where does it come from? It comes from... <laughs> Hold on. Lake Ogana... Lake... <laughs> Lake Ogana. Lake